A local towing company charges $7.05 for each mile plus a $10 reservation fee. They tow a maximum of 20 miles. Let C of X represent the total cost in dollars and X represent the number of miles driven. So because the cost is $7.05 per mile and X is the number of miles plus the $10 reservation fee, we can say the total cost C of X equals 7.05 times X, which again is the number of miles driven, plus 10, the $10 reservation fee. Part A number one, calculate the function value C of six, where six is the input and the function value is the output. To determine C of six, we begin with the function rule and substitute six for X, which means C of six equals 7.05 times six plus 10. 7.05 times six equals 42.3, giving us 42.3 plus 10, which equals 52.3. So now we know C of six equals 52.3. Where the input six is number of miles driven and the output or function value, 52.3 represents the total cost in dollars. Number two, we're asked to write the answer as an ordered pair. Every ordered pair is in the form of the input comma the output, or in this situation, x comma c of x. And therefore the ordered pair is six comma 52.3. Again, where the six represents the number of miles driven and the 52.3 represents the total cost in dollars. And therefore the meaning is the cost of having six miles driven is $52.3, which is equivalent to $52.30. For part B, find X, the input, when C of X, the function value or output, is 122.8. To determine the input X, we substitute 122.8 for the function value C of X. Performing the substitution gives us the equation 122.8 equals 7.05x plus 10. And now we solve for x. To solve for x, we first subtract 10 on both sides of the equation. Simplifying, this gives us 112.8 equals, this difference is zero, and therefore we just have 7.05x on the right. And now we divide both sides by 7.05. On the right side, this quotient is one. One times x is x. 112.8 divided by 7.05 equals 16. So now we know when the output or function value is 122.8, the input or x value is 16. As an ordered pair, again, it must be in the form of x comma c of x, and therefore the ordered pair is 16 comma 122.8. And now for the meaning, we were given c of x equals 122.8, which is the total cost in dollars, and we found x equals 16, where 16 is the number of miles driven. So we can say, if the cost was $122.8, then the number of miles driven was 16. And now for the last part of this question, part C, we are asked to determine the practical domain and practical range. Where the practical domain it's a set of all possible inputs that make sense for this situation, and the practical range is a set of all possible outputs or function values that make sense in this situation. And the key here is the company will tow a maximum of 20 miles. Before we determine the domain and range, let's graph the part of this linear function that makes sense under these conditions. Because the maximum distance is 20 miles, a car can be towed anywhere from zero miles all the way to a total of 20 miles, which means the practical domain would be x greater than or equal to zero and less than or equal to 20. Of course, if zero miles are driven, that means a reservation was made, but a tow is never made. And notice how we have the inputs or number of miles towed along the horizontal axis. And then to determine the practical range or the set of all possible outputs, if zero miles are driven or towed, then the total cost is going to be 7.05 times zero plus 10 or $10 for the reservation fee. And then the maximum cost will be when the tow is 20 miles, where the total cost would be 7.05 times 20 plus 10, 
which equals 151, which means the practical range is c of x greater than or equal to 10 and less than or equal to 151. And I also express the domain and range using interval notation here on the far right. So going back to part C, the practical domain or set of all possible inputs is x greater than or equal to zero and less than or equal to 20 miles. And again, that's because the maximum toe is 20 miles. And then the practical range is a set of all possible outputs given this practical domain. So again, if zero miles are towed, the cost is still $10 for the reservation fee. And therefore the practical range is C of X greater than or equal to 10 and less than or equal to the maximum cost, which we already saw would be $151 if the tow is 20 miles. And notice how we have the units of dollars here for the practical range and the units of miles here for the practical domain. I hope you found this helpful.